in today's video, we're going to continue off where we left last time, where we were searching for a car camping spot in the Whistler area. So come along, join us. Boondock number one. Huh? Uh, on the edge of the mountain cliff. Uh, all that rock fell off the side. Uh, so, a lot of boondite dock sites. Uh. Okay, trying to choose a boondocking site. So, the campground, there's a free campground down the street. However, they're all full because they have a table and fire rings. However, out here is a uh, forest road, and it's just as no different, not as much tree shelter. So we did come here, this spot, but changed our mind because it's too close to the road. So we went around the corner, and they have a nice pit there. So it doesn't matter, it's all the same. So camp is set up, how about that? So fire pit is already here. I have chopped up some wood. We should have enough for the night to keep us going. And... What? No. And, uh... Thought we were in the shade, but not, not in the shade. Where the sh sun's come around. Huh? Nice uh, fireplace. There. Should be enough wood. Mm -hmm. If I find more, we'll grab it. Huh? Da, da, da. Now that we found a camp spot, it's time to explore around the area and go for a little walk and hike. Uh, okay, no bungee jumping today. Welcome to Whistler Bungee. No climbing on the bridge. Uh, uh, yeah, clothes now maybe. Huh? Oh yeah, because no cars. All the cars were gone. This is a part of the Sea to Sky Highway Trail. Can't see nothing because the sun. Wow. Huh? huh? Go ahead, bungee. I'm waiting. <laughs> Jump, let's go. Woo! Is that an echo? No? Wow, look at that. Oh my god. My stomach is uh, queasy just looking at it. Huh? Anyhow, kids, if you look down, way down, this is the edge of the bungee jump. I guess they're closed right now. So anyhow, they bungee jump down to the edge of the water. And yeah, it's a little bit of a trip. I couldn't do it. So that on that side, not clear, but they have some picnic tables. We'll go down there. And uh, is this coming in? The mountaintop, there's some uh, towers there. And I think there's a hike up there. I don't know which one that is. Maybe Black Tusk. So it's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, I could not do that bungee jump. And let's go on this side. You might be able to see a bit better. The sun is not cooperating with us. Here we go. So beautiful rock cliff. Yeah, that's a way down. No way in hell on bungee. And then in the summer they also have a little coffee shop here going on or a snack shop or something like that. Used to anyways. I don't know if they have any more. Oh no, maybe not anymore. It's empty. Well, I guess with Corona, the woohoo virus, nothing is open. Yeah, they usually have like coffee or snack here and people selling the tickets, merchandise, Tuke. and they have observation tower here and you could almost come and camp out here at night and be dry pitch a tent or pitch a tent pitch a sleeping bag wow you could do it actually uh, I don't know what this room is looks like a shelter I guess it's a viewing room so yeah unbelievable the sign basically says what the distance is on the Sea to Sky Trail. So 20 kilometers to Whistler, 
and if you go south Squamish where we were the Adventure Center is 45 clicks and uh, Brandywine Falls is pretty nice too well picnic table yeah. I thought the bench here no. uh, they used to but not maybe not anymore maybe they took it out I thought they had on this side too the bench oh wow look it well wow, it's a beautiful spot there's a little lake here huh or whatever pond Wow make a good picnic hike huh oh there's one there picnic bench okay I did see something surface on the water I don't know if it's a beaver or what or a weasel but now of course not gonna see it we already ran into a snake on the trail and uh, my partner in crime flipped right out <laughs> and they got these cute quaint little paths to the observation area and along the cliff face they have uh, this fence to keep people from falling over the edge so jump at your own risk so yeah man I've seen I see people do this last year it was unreal I could never do that yeah that's not for me I like adventure but that's uh, out of my bounds and maybe this will give you a better view of uh, what it looks like she will occur yeah I couldn't do it could not do it, my heart would explode before I got to the bottom. Yeah, sun, is, sun is a bit too much today. Okay, that was all. So yeah, I was correct. I looked on the map and it says Black Tusk Peak. So you can hike up there. And I think on the other side there is a lake, which is obvious because, you know, all the snow and glacier called Garibaldi Lake, about the same height. And I want to go there and camp out at night. It's 15 bucks to camp out at night. And you do, you can either tent on the lake, Garibaldi Lake, or they have cabins there. I think the cabin is 35 for a night. So that is in the cards. So we'll have to hike like the same distance as what you're seeing here. So it's like a almost full day hike in. Da, 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 da. We have neighbors. Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Do, 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 do. Okay, lots of wood for fire. Now trying to figure out how to set up a bed. Oh yeah, wow, looks good. Looks good, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Perfect, this one. Yeah. Yeah. And my... It's warmer than the tent, maybe. I know. I have to keep the windows open a crack. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, last time we fogged up. <laughs> and can I have two campfires, one here, one there? I have to back it up so it's fat flatter though. And the bikes. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Mosquito hazer. When hmm. we found our camp spot in the early afternoon, there was absolutely yeah. uh -huh. nobody in this area. However, after we got back from our walk and by the end of the night, there was five others that joined in this spot. <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't have to warm my feet. They're already hot. Da, 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 da. Swing! <laughs> wow. Bon? Oui. Blow up. So, thanks muchly for joining us in a second part of the video series of car camping and boondocking out near Whistler in British Columbia. 
Come back next time, part three. We'll be biking around the city, some of the lakes there, and checking out some of the rest of the beautiful Whistler area. Unbelievably beautiful. So, until next time, my friends. Hey, same routine as always. Keep staying awesome, keep being awesome, and we'll see you then. And until then, cheers. It's cold from the fire. Warmer, close, oh wow, there. Wow, look at that. That's cool. I wonder how it comes out when I uh, video or edit this video. Wow, long day. What time did we start? I woke up 6 o'clock? 5.30? And what time? 10 o'clock? 